Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about these two markings, two warning labels that are mandatory on almost all products within the European Union. Especially this one. This one's called the CE marking and it stands for Conforme Européenne, or Conform the European Regulations. And it basically just means that whenever a product has this marking on it, it is conform those regulations so it meets high safety standards, it's safe to use. The other one, the WEEE marking, basically just means, hey, this has batteries inside it, do not throw this away. And that has like safety reasons, but also environmental reasons because the European Union wants to limit their electronic waste per capita as much as possible. So it's basically just like, hey, don't throw it away. Now you're probably wondering, why are you telling me this is a photography channel? You sometimes do some philosophy stuff. How is this interesting to know? Well, it's interesting because if you look at these two logos, you might agree with me if I say that they're, well, not really up to standard when it comes to modern day design philosophy. They're kind of ugly. But like I said, both of them are mandatory on certain products because, well, you know, you want the products that are being used by Europeans to be safe and you want people to be warned when there's batteries inside of something. So the funny thing is they're mandatory but also kind of ugly to put on a product. So I've designed a new little game for myself and that is that I want to find these two markings as fast as I can on electronic products that sort of like favor design over safety. So if I looked at my phone, I was like, okay, where do I need to find this? Because I'm hoping it has the CE marking because it needs to be safe. And I'm also hoping that it has the WEEE marking because it has a battery inside it. And if for some reason you don't know that a smartphone has a battery inside, someone might throw it away and their whole trying to limit electronic waste kind of gets ruined. So I took out my phone and I looked at it for minutes trying to find these two markings. And then I found out that they're engraved onto the side of the phone, barely, barely visible. Then I took my headphones and it took me even longer to find them because they are actually on the inside of the case at the top. And then finally I took out an Xbox controller because I was like, okay, this sort of has batteries in it and it is an electronic product, so it also needs to be safe. Where on earth could they have hidden this time? Because I was like, I've looked at a controller a hundred times. I've seen it, I've held it in my hands. I know what it looks like and I know that these markings just aren't on there. So I looked for minutes and minutes and minutes until I finally find out that they are actually behind the battery pack on the back. So you just have to slide that off and behind there you will find the CE and the WEEE marking. So next time you buy an electronic product in Europe or something that was manufactured in Europe, I have a new little game for you. Try to find these two markings as fast as you can. I think it's just a little fun thing, a little trivia thing you can tell at parties. Make people look it up on their own phone. It's a nice conversation starter if you're in like a, I don't know, geeky environment. Anyways, I hope you like this one. I'll be back next week with a little bit more of an elaborate video, also explaining my absence for the last couple of months on YouTube. Uh, I'm fine personally, but I just didn't really have the time, but we elaborate on it in next week's video. For this week, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching. The sun is starting to come through, ruining my lighting. Thank you very much for watch watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for sticking with me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.